guys, it's Tina, and I just wanted to come on here and give you a review today, which is something I know you guys aren't used to seeing on my channel because I actually only do reviews for products that I personally use yeah, myself. I tell tiny, tiny pool, big pool. For, for big people, tiny people. Oh. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so I only review things that I personally use myself and I actually generally only review things that I have asked for on my channel and this is something that I did ask for before Matthew was born. If you remember, I did like a big showcase of it on Instagram when I first got it right before he was born and then I never brought it back and I actually wasn't on YouTube for about a year um, and so here I am giving my review of the Tula Half Buckle Carrier. Right before I had Matthew, the company Tula Baby Carriers was nice enough to send me this half buckle carrier. I think it's the pattern French Marigold, if I remember correctly. I fell in love with this pattern when I saw it online and I was like, that is a thing I have to have. So I messaged Tula and I said, can I make you guys a review of your half buckle carrier? And they said, only if you go on a YouTube hiatus for a year and then you come back and do it. Which is not what they said at all, but that is what I ended up doing. So it's making me crazy, it's making me crazy. So the Tula half buckle carrier is really good because because it is fully adjustable and it goes from infants, that is newborn babies from seven pounds all the way up to children who are around four years old and 45 pounds, which means that I can carry both Matthew in this carrier and my daughter Lily in this carrier who is almost four years old. That being said, I did not. <laughs> So uh, one of my main goals here on YouTube is to always be honest with everybody and that includes all of you guys and the companies who send me the products that I have either asked for or they've asked me to do a review for. And the truth is that I am so, so in love with this carrier, but I really didn't get any use out of it. And the reason why I didn't get any use out of it is going to maybe be a reason that you guys are going to get a lot of use out of it, but I am going to explain that further. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you the three different ways that you can wear this carrier. The first way is on the front, and this is for babies who are uh, probably from birth till about four months old. For front carry, it is really, really easy. All that you're gonna do is clip the carrier around your waist. You're going to adjust it so that it fits nice and snugly over your hips. You're gonna put your baby inside, make sure that they're seated really nicely, and then you're gonna take the straps and you're going to throw them over your shoulders. Cross the straps over that. You're going to pull the straps around to the front on top of the baby's legs and you're gonna cross them over the baby's back. So the straps right now are between the baby's arms and legs and holding him in, making sure he can't just pop out the side or anything like that. And then you're going to cross them underneath his legs around to your back and you're gonna tie it up. And that is the way that you would wear a baby in a front hold with this. do a side hold with a Tula carrier and I wish that I knew this when I first got the carrier because I probably would have gotten a lot more use out of it I just I was so overwhelmed in like the first couple of months of Matthew's life with um, you know with Matthew and having four kids and with renovating and then with moving anyways the side carry is really really cool you actually just take it put it on the front of you in the same position but you're gonna turn it so that it fits on whichever hip you feel comfortable having it on and then you're going to pull it up and instead of taking both straps and throwing them over your shoulders, you're going to take the strap that is the most in front of your body and throw it over your shoulder. And the other one, you're just gonna tuck underneath your arm, cross them, wrap them around the baby like you did before, and then you have a baby sitting on the side of you, which, like I said, I really wish that I knew that the carrier could have done this because I would have gotten so, so much use out of it while Matthew was young because really and truly, he didn't wanna be on the front of me, he didn't wanna be on the back of me, he was a hip baby, that's where he wanted to be, and if I knew that I could have hip carried in this, it basically would have been my second set of clothes. <laughs> the third way that you can carry a baby with a Tula half buckle is on your back. And I'm gonna use Lily to demonstrate this. And this time, I am not gonna cross the straps. I'm just gonna push them right back behind me again like a backpack. And I'm gonna cross them behind Lily. And I'm gonna tie them in front of me. This way is really, really convenient if you have a kid who actually will sit in this position because it's the easiest way to get stuff done. Of course, the half 
portable carrier also comes with the same thing that all the other tulas come with. It's got a little flap on it, which is fully adjustable, and you can pull it up over your baby's head if they fall asleep. My mom got me this shirt two days ago and it already has an oil stain on it because I'm a slob. So I know that you guys are probably wondering how exactly this carrier can hold a baby all the way from birth when their legs are all, you know, tiny and froggy-like all the way up till four years old when they have like the big long legs. So I wanted to do a really quick rundown of all the different ways that this carrier is adjustable. As you pull it up over yourself, you can pull these as tight or as loose as you want. So that is one way it's adjustable. The other way that it's adjustable is if you want this panel to be shorter, as you can see, the panel is really, really tall right now. And if you want to make it shorter, you can just, oh, that's supposed to look easier. Don't furrow your eyebrows, Tina. <laughs> and now the panel is a lot shorter. So if you want to use it for a newborn, you can. You always just want to make sure, especially if you're using it for a young baby, younger than four months, that you can always see their face when you're baby wearing because you don't want anything silly to happen like them to like fall into your chest or something like that. I mean, for me, not an issue, but there are some busty ladies out there. Yeah, so you can adjust the panel in that way, and now we have a shorter panel. But the next thing is that the newborn's legs are so much smaller than a baby's legs, so as you can see, this is really nice and wide. It's actually a little wider than my body is, and so that's good because, you know, your baby's legs are coming out, and their knees are bending here, and they're hanging down nicely, but if you have a smaller baby, you're obviously going to want this panel to be smaller. And so, if you look at the carrier right now, it is actually very, very wide. But if I turn it up this way, you're going to notice a little button in here. So you can actually just unclip that button. And there's one on the other side over here. We can just unclip. And then what you can do is you can actually just shrink the panel of the carrier by pushing it in and clipping it back where you want it. And now, as you can see, the panel is much, much smaller. And there are actually a bunch of different settings in here. As you can see, there is the smallest. There is the medium setting. And there is the largest. So guys, now that I've given you a rundown of all the features of the carrier and how it works and how adjustable it is and all the different ways that you can wear it, I'm gonna give you my honest review on the carrier and that is that I didn't really get much use out of it. And I feel so bad saying that because it has nothing to do with the design of it. It has nothing to do with anything that's wrong with it. It has nothing to do with anything like that. Like there are so many products that I've owned in my life that have made me say like, oh, I could say so many horrible things about this thing, but there is nothing bad that I can say about this carrier. The fact is, I am just not a wrap girl, even if it's a half wrap. Truthfully, when I had my first son, James, in 2012, somebody on YouTube sent me a wrap at the time, and I think it was one of those like stretchy wraps, either called like a Moby or boba or I don't, it, something, it was two syllables. Anyways, throughout my pregnancy, I had always seen all of these women wearing these like beautiful carriers like wrapped around them, wrapped around the baby, wearing them so snugly and it just, it just looks so perfect and comforting for the baby and wonderful. And then I had James and I tried wearing those carriers. I would put him in them and I would wrap him up and within seconds he was squirming and wiggling and I don't know, maybe I smell bad. I just, he would not stay in a wrapped carrier. And at the same time, it was like a sensory thing for me because I was like, okay, this is a baby carrier or is it clothing? We're wrapped up together in this. My boobs are leaking now and I can't get the baby down to my, I don't know. I just, it was just so, so much. I just wanted to be one of those moms who wore her baby in a wrap so badly. And everywhere I went, all the moms groups, the malls, everywhere, I saw women wearing their babies just all wrapped up perfectly on their body like like as if they were one person and I was like I want to be that mom but I just couldn't do it I don't know why I just could not function with my baby in a wrap and so a couple of years went by when I had Joe I decided I was gonna try the wrap thing one more time and so I got at the time a non stretchy wrap I just I couldn't function at all I was I was tying it on myself it was too tight in some places it was too loose in some places it was a sensory nightmare that I was just not prepared for and so the wrap went out the window too. Then I had Lily and I said to myself, okay, I can't be one of those women with the flowy wraps wrapped up with her baby looking all maternal and beautiful and whatever. So what I'm gonna try instead is I'm gonna try a ring sling. It was okay. It was all right. I was, I could never get it quite secure enough to make myself be like, okay, well now I can actually like do things with the baby on my hip. It was always just 
an aid to me holding a baby. I could never be like, woohoo, ring sling, take the wheel now. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, when I was pregnant with Matthew, my fourth child, and what was supposed to be my last child, I said to myself, okay, finally, once and for all, I have to find a way to wear this baby in a wrap so that I can be that mom that I have always wanted to be. And I asked Tula if I could have this half wrap carrier, which is not, it's not a half wrap, it's a half buckle. So, it's a half buckle. But the reason why I say it's a half wrap is because the top of the carrier, as you can see, is a wrap and the bottom of the carrier is a buckle. And I just, I've had a Tula before and I know that they are amazing quality and I just, I saw this pattern and it was beautiful and I saw the complete adjustability and functionality of the carrier and I said, you know what? If there is ever going to be a carrier that has any sort of wrap function that I like, that's going to be it. And what I found out is that I am just not a wrap mommy at all, as much as it breaks my heart to say that. So guys, I literally have zero bad things to say about this carrier, but I wasn't about to come on here and lie to everybody and say, oh my gosh, I wore it all the time or anything like that because I'm just not a wrap girl. And there are so many reasons why. There is the sensory aspect of, of being wrapped up with my baby. And then there's the hair. As you guys know, and like a lot of people do know, I have a lot of hair. Everything that I am describing to you guys in this video is making me sound crazy, but I have this process in my head every single day of my life and it's like, okay, I cannot put on a nice thing until I've showered. I just, I don't know, I view this carrier as like this beautiful thing that I had. Like this was my like, my nice thing, my going out carrier, if you know what I mean. And so it's like, I couldn't put it on until after I showered, but after I showered, I had to leave my hair down because that's what I do. Why am I so... Weird. Anyways, I was wrapping my hair in it and stuff like that and I was just like, I just can't do this. So yeah guys, for a multitude of reasons that are literally all in my head, I did not get a lot of use out of this carrier and that's what I want to be perfectly honest about when I make this review, but I will say, if you are a mom who loves wraps, if you are a mom who loves baby wearing, if you are a mom whose child will not completely freak out and scream at the top of their lungs the entire time that you're trying to get them into a carrier and you have to be super, super quick about it, otherwise it's the end of the world, this is a really good carrier for you. Unfortunately though, as much as I had hoped for my entire baby rearing journey in this life that I was that mom, I'm just not. I'm just, I'm the mom that needs like a, a dirty, used up, soft structured carrier that's been lying in a pile of dirt at the front door and strap it onto myself really fast and throw the screaming baby on my back so that I can finally get something done after chasing four children around all day and stepping on Lego pieces. But yeah, I really wish I was the other one because I would have gotten so much use out of this carrier and, and we would have looked beautiful together. Don't you agree? <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is my honest review and I hope you enjoyed it. And lastly, I wanted to say thank you to all of the people at Tula for sending me this carrier to review. Um, I apologize for it taking a year, but now that I'm back, uh, it's one of the first videos that I wanted to put out there. More than anything, I wanted to make a review talking about just how much I love this and how amazing and beautiful and perfect it is. Uh, but unfortunately, I am just not a rap mom, not even a half rap mom, and apparently, uh, neither is my baby. I'm gonna take you off now. Okay. Say bye. Bye.